So in this video I'm going to just show you quickly how to derive the equation of a circle. And uh, first off, you know, what is the equation of a circle? So we'll use a little bit of GeoGebra just to show that. And so what I have here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a slider. I'm going to make a slider and call it H for the X x or for the x value of the uh, center i'll make one for and call it k because that's typically what math books use for the so h and k will stand for the center of the circle and so i'll just put that point in here so you can see it h comma k in the input hit enter and there it is and you can you can now watch me slide it around. There's left and right, K, up and down. So there you have it. Then we're going to put in one more slider for the radius of the circle. And uh, we're going to go ahead and call that R. And the minimum, though, since it's a radius, it's always going to be positive. We could maybe make it go from 0 to 10. And there you have it. So we have H, K, and R. Okay, so now we just need to come up with the equation. Well, I have the equation memorized. So X minus H quantity squared plus uh, Y minus K quantity squared equals your radius squared. I'll hit enter and you can see that GeoGebra automatically puts those values in here. So this is a, since I've got it set on 0.85, this is a center of a circle of 0 0.85, 0 0.85 and a radius of 1. So we can move that circle to the right, maybe put it on 3, maybe go down, put it on negative one whoops you can also watch the equation of the circle change maybe we want a radius of uh, let's say let's say nine eh, yeah we can do nine okay whoops 8.95 tough to get it to snap right in place and you can change that so it's not so bad yeah uh, yeah, let's, let's change the radius to 6, something a little more manageable. I can't make it stay. That's so funny. All right, well, I'm not going to play with Ooh, I got it. All right, I'll leave it alone. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit, change the scale. Whoops. Maybe move, move my graphic view around a little. So here's my circle with a center at positive 3. Notice the sign inside the parentheses now changes. So um, you're, to put it in your equation you have to change the sign or vice versa. To take it out of the equation you change it. So if it's x minus 3 your, your h is positive 3 and then notice y plus 1 your k is negative 1 and that, and that goes um, for all of that. And notice your radius is radius squared, so your radius is 6, so in the equation is 36. So here we go, up and down. Uh, we can go to, you know, make it maybe negative 4. Maybe. There we go. Make k um, negative 4. And so inside the equation, they should both be positive. Yep, x plus 4 squared, y plus 4 squared equals 36. So that's the equation of a circle. Well, how can we prove that that's the equation of a circle? Well, it's really easy to prove, or well, I shouldn't say easy, but possible to prove by simply, so here's my x, y axis. I'll make just a rough sketch. There's the x axis, there's the y axis. And we want to graph the points on the circle. So I'm going to uh, put in my circle here. We'll just put it anywhere. It doesn't matter where. Um, there's a center, which 
we know is HK. There's its radius, which we'll call R. And there's a point on the circle, which we'll call XY, because those are the points we want to generate. Um, that's the variable we're really looking for, even though we have five variables listed. And so we, we get this, we derive this equation with the um, formula for uh, distance formula. So the distance formula, if you forgot it, is Pythagorean theorem, but it's x2 minus x1 squared plus, uh, oh, of course, I'm out of room, so I'll put it down here. Distance equals the square root, this will work better anyway, of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Uh, continue that over. And so what we have is, there's the distance formula, and if you don't know the distance formula, uh, eventually I'm going to make a video for that, but but go online, there's lots of videos, Khan Academy is one, there's thousands, probably thousands of videos on just distance formula alone, and, and how that works, and, and what it means, so this is a little more advanced video. Uh, go back, if this is looking like witchcraft, please go back and try it try a different video. Uh, maybe start with distance formula. So what we're going to do now is plug in everything we know. Well, the distance we know is this radius right here. So we're going to call that R. We're just plugging it right in. Our two points are X, Y, and H, K. So to find the distance of those, that's a K, kind of a sloppy one, you would take the square root of my second point uh, versus first point doesn't matter we're gonna make this one be my second point this one be my first point so it would be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared and again I've taken x1 minus or x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and plugging it in and then just to continue this on we want to square both sides of the equation so that the uh, so that we uh, get rid of the radical so we'll square this and square this and what happens is the square and the square root cross out and you're left with r squared equals the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Or you flip that around, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And there is the proof of the general form of a circle in the xy plane. So hopefully this helps. Um, not that you're people often look for a proof on why the circle equation works. Usually I'm just teaching kids how to use it. But uh, I think it's pretty interesting. And the fact that you can tie it clear back to the Pythagorean theorem with a distance formula. So geometry ties straight into algebra. Um, it's kind of fun, fun stuff for me. So best of luck. See you next time.